You're watching TCM, I'm Alicia Malone, and let's keep our Sunday afternoon chugging along with a Vincent Minnelli film that's been described as a mixture of two of Minnelli's previous movies, Father of the Bride and The Pirate. Confused? Me too. It's The Reluctant Debutante from 1958. I think that description is referring to the fact that Rex Harrison plays Jimmy Broadbent, father to Jane, played by Sandra D, who is fast becoming a woman, and there's a bit of mistaken identity going on. Kay Kendall also stars as Jimmy's wife Sheila, who gets so caught up in competing with her frenemy Mabel, played by Angela Lansbury, that she enters her stepdaughter into the English debutante season against her will. The story comes from a British play by William Douglas Home that was discovered by an executive in MGM's London office. He raved about the play to producer Pandra Berman, who was in England filming Quentin Durwood with Robert Taylor and Kay Kendall. Immediately after seeing the play for himself, Berman recommended MGM buy the rights to it. And because Berman had enjoyed working with Kay Kendall, he wanted her to play Sheila. So screenwriter Julius Epstein and then playwright William Douglas Home changed that character to be Jimmy's second wife to suit Kendall's young age. Then it was obvious that Rex Harrison should play Jimmy because he and Kay Kendall had recently married and were looking for a way to work together again. And to take advantage of MGM's young American budding star Sandra D, the role of the daughter was switched to being an American. Let's take a look from 1958. This is The Reluctant Debutante. The reluctant debutante featured Sandra Dee as Jane right before she would become a huge star with Imitation of Life, Gidget and A Summer Place, all released in 1959. Our movie was her third ever film role and Dee was treated to the full MGM glam squad with costumes by Helen Rose, beautiful cinematography by Joseph Ruttenberg, sparkling dialogue by Julius Epstein and playwright William Douglas Home, and careful direction by the master of making things look good, Vincent Minnelli. Meanwhile, this was the second time Rex Harrison and Kay Kendall made a film together after The Constant Husband from 1955. At that time, Harrison was married to his second wife, Lily Palmer, and he and Kendall had an affair, but after Rex Harrison discovered that Kay Kendall had leukemia, a fact she herself didn't know about, Lily Palmer agreed to divorce him so he could marry Kay Kendall and look after her. Kendall made one more film after this, once more with feeling, and then died in 1959 at the age of 32. Okay, let's lighten the mood. Coming up on TCM, we have a comedy by the brilliant Preston Sturges, starring Claudette Colbert and Joel McRae. Don't miss it.